Now it's on. Oh, now it's on. <laughs> so welcome to jQuery 2016. Um, whoa. <laughs> Just as a warning, this is being live streamed across the world, and uh, there are probably about one or two people watching it. Stephen will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, it's, it's also um, being uh, recorded, this, this room, just so you know. So if you say something embarrassing, uh, <laughs> it'll be recorded, but that's okay, because we're here to have fun. Um, as you know, I, I did something stupid yesterday, trying to be healthy. And uh, don't do that. <laughs> just program. Forget about exercise. That's for other people. And, uh, and I went to the doctor, and he said to me, um, I said to him, look, I've got a conference this week. He says, oh, that's great. You can just sit and... I said, well, no, that's not this type of conference. <laughs> this conference involves a lot of walking around and uh, hiking and swimming in the sea and going down water slides, all sorts of things. So this is, a, as you would have hopefully seen by now, is very different to the typical, you know, serious conference with corporate sponsors and, you know, official talks and so on, uh, sponsored talks. So this is very different, and I hope you're going to enjoy yourself. Um, we've got um, a very nice, uh, capable unteam. Everything's un, so it's unconference, unteam, uh, disorganizers, and the unteam is going to tell you how open spaces work, how we how we do it here. Um, and so, any questions? Please um, ask Dimitri or John, Rabea, somewhere around. Rabea was hides. There's Rabea. <laughs> Um, you can ask me, but I probably won't know the answer, but you're welcome to try me if you want to. Um, so I'm going to hand over now to, to Dimitri and John, who are going to tell us about open spaces and how, we can, and how we're going to run this on conference. Thank you very much. Hey. Awesome crowd, awesome people. Thanks for coming. Um, yeah, this is this is just getting bigger and, and, and greater every year. This is this amazing thing, which started like six years ago with 35 people coming, primarily from Java Specialist Club, and this is just now awesome. How many thousand people do you have on the waiting list? <laughs> it's just an amazing thing. So, yeah, uh, heartily welcome um, here on Crete, and uh, thanks for joining us. So we're gonna do it uh, open space format. For those who don't, uh, you don't, uh, who don't know well how it is, I'll try to briefly explain some things. So behind you, you see some things named Launchpad, and the lot of white sheets there. It's our schedule. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna all propose topics you want to talk about, even the topics you know nothing about but you want to learn. You propose it, we're going to put it on a launch pad, and then we're going to move it to the schedule, and off you go. As a person who proposes the topic, you are a convener, you have one main responsibility. You are responsible that the session happens. So you're going to lead people, you're going to start discussion, and even if you are not an expert in the topic, primarily somebody else will come and tell you something about it. But you're responsible that the session happens and, and so on, and then an hour later, you get back. So we're going to work in one-hour sessions. What we're going to try new this time, we're going to try to do planning every, every day. So we're going to just plan enough sessions for one day to fill up the slots and do it every day. This way we can get ideas from, the, from before uh, flowing around, unlike we did previous years. Um, yeah, in this whole thing, um, there are not so many rules. There is one law, the law of two feet. If at any point you feel yourself neither contributing nor learning, go someplace else. Cross-pollinate, learn something else, go meet other people. You can go join any other session, or you can just meet someone in the hallway and start a whole new thing, which happens all the time. And of course, during discussions and excursions and so on, we're going to have so many more unplanned talks, unscheduled talks here. The new thing this year, we have, besides what I've mentioned, we have a hacker garden space outside the building, which is 24-7, people who want to hack on stuff, hacking in the hacker garden, which is just outside of this building to the left. There are some plugs, electricity, so we are, we are, we are good settled. We're going to use this as, as well for the discussions, so it's going to be like 50-50, 50% 50 
people probably discussing stuff and, 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 and somebody else uh, doing hacking. Yeah, and um, besides the law of two feet, we have a couple of principles. Uh, whenever it happens is the right time. Whatever happens is the only thing that could have. Uh, whoever shows up are the right people. You're all the right people. You're all the self-selected audience. You're all experts. Even if you don't consider yourself, you're all rock stars, superstars. You're all here. Just being here makes you so, like, promoted. <laughs> Um, yeah, somebody who wants to know a bit more about details, it's all there. We have two more new things that we try to gather some feedback from you. We have a wow sheet where, where you can note cool stuff that you think is really great and how about sheet. And how about is where you could put things which don't work the way it's supposed to or you have some suggestion or, I don't know, AC is too low, too high, um, the sound is not good, what not. Just put it there, and we try to react on it as good as we can. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, this is more or less uh, what you can do. We're going to uh, give you some uh, post-its this year. I mean, it's new technology, you see, <laughs> where you can put uh, uh, topics there and your name on the lower le uh, left side. Then uh, we're going to put the things in the large part, and uh, we're going to decide each day which, uh, which topics go to the uh, to our uh, six uh, rooms, I think? Seven ish, yes. Seven, yeah. And then uh, what other people can do? They can just put uh, some uh, lines there. You know, I'm interested in this uh, topic so that we know more or less how, how, how popular the topic is. And then we can choose also which room we use. Uh, another thing is that the three first rooms, the stage, the library, and the printing room, they have uh, projectors, so if you want to give a presentation or something that you want to show with the computer, then you have to choose one of these first three because for the rest there is nothing actually. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Whenever you propose a topic, if it's a presentation, you want to show slides, show code or something, please put a P on it so we know in which room it goes. We only have only three rooms equipped with the, with the proper equipment, otherwise it's going to be just a discussion. So naturally, if you end up on the beach, there is nothing on the beach but the beach, so. <laughs> Uh, of course, you can go swimming. And goats going for a swim, yes. Um, okay, before we kick start, I guess there is uh, there will be a presentation. Yeah, yeah. and the thing is, you can at the same time when you add the normal proposals, you can, you can start adding stuff to the hacker garden. We're going to put a whiteboard there, so hacker garden can be the hacker garden style means you come and you start writing on the whiteboard the things you want to hack, or um, have, it, have, it, have it listed here so for everybody to see. When you propose a topic, actually, you cannot say yeah, this is a hacking uh, for the hacking garden, and the hacking garden can start uh, at five o'clock like last year, or you can start uh, whenever you feel like. So you can spend the whole day in the hacking garden hacking with uh, some other colleague or something. Or yes, you have to, correct. No, normally, when uh, you, you propose a topic, you, you can come here and just uh, give a one minute or so uh, d d speak what it's all about, so that people uh, know, because if you just put the name, and people do not understand what it's all about. Uh, in the afternoon, we're going to have excursions, and uh, if you're interested, and you need uh, a lift as, as well as a car, there is an excursions board down there, so just put a line, to just to make sure how many people are coming. For this afternoon, it's uh, Falasama Beach, one of the big best beaches on the in Europe. There's also the water park, the second excursion, um, which I'm going to attempt to to join to at least watch <laughs> people go down the slides. <laughs> All right. So excursions are always a lot of fun. It's also um, what 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 we found in the past was. I know excursions seem silly because you know we are we're all very serious Java programmers, but what actually happens is during the excursions we we end up talking about what we spoke before because we are geeks we can't stop ourselves, and um, we've had some of the most interesting discussions um, in float up meetings, right? <laughs> float up meetings are basically you see these five six heads in a row bopping around. Um, in fact, this th one of the the, the initial ideas about this whole conference was with Kirk and myself in Stavros Beach um, doing a float up meeting saying, you know what, we should do a conference out of this because we're just hanging out in the sea. So, and, and very often the, the discussions that we start in the morning 
um, carry on, you know, all through the afternoon, all through the night, um, sometimes really literally through the night, um, in informal settings. And that, that's when things get really interesting because you connect and you can talk about interesting things. So um, don't shun the excursions. They'll be fun. Now, we've got uh, Mr. Zorbas who would like to, to say a few things and uh, do a presentation for us, the director of the OAC. Thank you very much.